Hi guys and welcome to the Twist Network. Today we're going to be doing a Twist Arts production with me, Dan, and it's a Photoshop production. And today we're going to be uh, exporting parts to Illustrator and then opening them up in Cinema 4D. And in Cinema 4D we're going to be rendering them out in 3D so you can use them for logos and stuff. So you just want to place your file or your image into a blank document. Uh, remove the background if there is one on it. So it's just the blank shapes. Oh, what's that? So, like so. Background's now gone. Now we're going to select our pen tool <coughs> and go around the shape that we want to extrude or export. So, I'm going to do this really quickly for time's sake. And I'll do that. Then. Start again. Of course, you take a lot more time, and if you want to make it more accurate, you do it in half lips to make sure you get it right. So that looks okay to me. Open a new layer. Can I delete the layer? Yeah. So now we've got our shape. Uh, pretty easy. Of course, if you let's go back of course if you wanted to do a circular there's a little tip that you're going to need to cancel that uh, when you're dragging your curve so select the point and drag your curve so you're going to press it all and get a little arrow and then you just uncheck that because if you don't uncheck that and then you try and drag a new circle we drag it from the last point and it's screw up so you have to press Alt and do that so you can just get the second part, Alt and do that and then create the third part like so. That's how you do a like, thing with curves and stuff. So anyway, if I just undo that like so and then I have to leave this there. So now we've got our shape or our path. We're going to go File, Export, Pass to Illustrator, Work Path, and just save it to your desktop. I'm going to set it as Lightning. I'll replace it because I've already got it. Now we're going to open up Cinema 4D. Might take a while to load. Um, okay, so once you're in Cinema 4D, you just going to go File, Open, and uh, open your AU bar, which is here, and set the scale to 1, and it should be all set for default. So there's our path, so at the moment, as you can see, if I stop the time that, uh, use just a 2D shape. So you've got it in the menu to, you want to go to the green bubble with the box around it, and uh, do an extrude nerves layer and then drag the lightning into the extrude nerves like so. So when you minimize the extrude nerves tab, the lightning should disappear. So that will give you 3D shape. Personally, I quite like the, um, the actual depth 20. Looks alright. So if you just click on the extrude nerves and then go to object, you can change the depth there. So you can make it whatever you want 200. Obviously, 20, I think it's better. I think we should go caps, fillet cap, change steps to 3 and the depth radius to 3, and then do the same for the fillet cap on the end. Unless we give it a beveled edge here, in front. I'll zoom out. Now, I just want to add some textures. I can just Change this. So we just go down here, double click, add new texture, change the colour. So I'm going to need a yellow, like so. Anywhere to reflection and drop the brightness to around about 65, maybe 60. And then texture for now, and uh, mixture to around 70. You need to play around with this. Now I'm just going to copy this material and paste, copy the material, control C, of course. 
and a trophy. And he changed this to a nice under collar tab to a nice sort of grey. <clears throat> so like so. So now we're gonna drag the yellow one first, like that. Drag the silver one second. And then under the grey, go to selection and type C with a capital and then one and this will set it to the set the yellow to the black and bring the C to the selection one. So if we just render that out. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We should add some lights I think. So we're just gonna go to this little uh, white circle with four arrows and hit light. And then we're gonna actually set a camera angle. So go to this light thing again and hit camera. And that's just taking a picture of where we have our camera. So now come to this and hit the little white, hit the little black box with those whites. So we can just drag out in the preview. Drag this light over. Drag this light back. Drag this light off a bit. And I'm actually gonna change this light to infinite light. Um, I drop the intensity to about like 90. So we just snap back to our camera view again. And we do a preview render. We've got some nice light effects going on here. But I actually want another camera, so I'm going to copy and paste this. And then snap off my camera. And I'm going to copy and paste the light. I'm going to do this and change the angle so you get some nice light effects on the side. And then snap back to the camera again and preview render. So now we've actually got a light along the side as well as on the top. So now it's just the last thing for the save, the way you save it. So obviously you want to save it to like a uh, high resolution. So I'm just going to do 1280 by 720. So 720p. And we'll save it as a PNG with alpha channel and straight alpha tip. And save the file location to your desktop. I obviously name it. So I'll name it test. Uh, change the anti aliasing to best minimum level 2x2 two by 4x4 two by four by four. effect ambient occlusion and global illumination. Then we'll snap back to our camera, like so. I want to zoom out a bit and hit the middle button to render. Thanks, guys. This was uh, Dan. So peace out.